For those who don't know who I am, hi, <laughs> I'm Sierra Ramirez. I am a singer and an actress. I'm originally from Houston, Texas, and yeah, got some new music coming out, so I hope you enjoy it. So transitioning from acting to singing is definitely two different worlds. People don't actually know this about me. I originally got into acting through singing, so I was blessed enough to have acting as a platform, and now I'm able to share my music with the world, show people my first true love. Um, the most difficult part, probably the difference in hours. Acting is like a lot more during the day, and I've noticed that in the music industry, they're all night owls. And I think that's just like a weird transition for me personally, but I'm a night owl at heart, so it's fine. <laughs> Houston definitely has influenced my sound. I mean, growing up, you can't go anywhere without knowing about all of the music that comes out of Houston. I mean, Beyonce, Travis Scott now. I mean, I grew up on Mike Jones too. And also I, I grew up singing in country competitions. So I, I have a love for country music as well. So all the greats, Patsy Cline, um, Loretta Lynn, I love them all. It kind of depends, depends on who I'm with as well. Um, we might have like a Google Doc that we're sharing, but yeah, usually on the phone. Ooh, shooting the bad boys visual was really fun. Um, I had this idea about kind of like an Edward Scissorhands, just kind of like very like, you know, just this neighborhood where my character, I, I feel very trapped. I kind of feel like I live this mundane lifestyle and I'm kind of living up to everybody's expectations of who I should be, who I should be with. And yeah, at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, what is it about those bad boys that just makes you feel so much better? So someone comes into her life and it's like she sees color for the first time. Um, <laughs> I don't always just date bad boys, but I think I'm definitely more attracted to them. I don't know, I but I will, I, you always have to end up with a good guy. I like a, a bad boy that's good for me. Balancing a relationship and my busy career, I mean, it's all about communication. I think that goes with every career, but I think, you know, whoever I'm with has to understand what I do and, um, that's not that easy, you know, especially like with acting, having to have a love interest. It's kind of hard to see your significant other do that on screen, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I would hope to be with my best friend. So, you know, your number one fan also in a sense. <laughs> oh my gosh, my favorite Drake song of all time. How are you gonna do me like that? I can't do that. You know, I was just um, listening to a lot of his old stuff again and I love November 18th. I think like that, like it's a good one, right? Like that whole album, I forgot about it. I was like, yes, Poppy. <laughs> the End of the Fucking World, so good. I watched it in maybe a day and a half. I just thought it was so aesthetically just pleasing. The music was amazing. The acting was incredible. You know, I actually am a fan of The Fosters, so I have seen every episode twice, I think. Um, it's, it never gets easier watching yourself on screen, but I am a fan of, of the actual show, so I'll do it. <laughs> Ooh, hmm, okay, okay. I would love Becky G. I think Normani could be cool. Dua, Dua Lipa. Three things I can't leave my house without. Definitely my phone, my Fenty lip gloss, <laughs> and a disposable camera. I've been trying to be really good at taking disposable pictures and kind of capturing the moment. What up, it's Sierra Ramirez, and now you know.